Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we'll be making sweet rolls, um, as my mom usually called it, um, yeast bread. Um, so we'll be using four cups of flour, two cups of um, warm water. I'm going to go ahead and activate my yeast. This is a bag of rapid rise that I'll be using. I'm going to go ahead and have it sit for a while so the yeast can activate. We'll be using a quarter cup of sugar. Mix that with the flour. I'll be using um, a pinch of salt, but I'll add that at the end. And then I'm going to be adding two eggs whisked. Already whisked the two eggs. Go ahead and add that in. Once the yeast starts to activate, you'll start seeing it bubbly up on top. So I'm going to go ahead and add Everybody does the yeast differently. Some of them um, will use honey, dry milk, milk. So, I mean, whatever you want to go ahead and use for the sweet roll, this is how my mother taught me. So, I'm going to go ahead and add salt. Just gonna add a little bit of flour here. I don't want it too sticky. Okay, once you have it at um, the dough you want, I I'm going to wash my hands really quick. Then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and apply some of this olive oil to my hand. I'm sorry, um, vegetable oil. And then we'll go ahead and have this sit for an hour. I'm going to go ahead and seal it. for an hour and then we'll be back. We'll go ahead and have it rise. Okay, we're back of an hour resting. I'm going to transfer my dough onto my work surface, but let me add 
just a few. Let me work some flour into it here. much for five minutes and then I will start to portion the dough and put it into an oven pan Once I put it in the oven pan, I'm going to go ahead and seal it for about another 30 minutes. Have it rest, rise, and it'll be ready to go into the oven. We'll be right back. Okay, I finished rolling the rolls. Um, there is a few ways you can do the the rolling. Some of you will just make it into a round ball, set it in there. I mean, the way you want to do it, I usually... Roll it like this, put it in there, um, however you want to put it in. Um, some of you will put it in like this. So it's up to you on how you want to roll the, the sweet roll. Um, there's no wrong and perfect way. Um, once you keep practicing, it'll get a lot easier. I didn't use a way. Um, I just pray, did like a hand um, portion, um, putting in my dough, so a few of them will look a little bit bigger than the other. This one will look a little bit bigger because it's starting to rise, so I'm going to go ahead and um, place another um, press and seal over it, or another... 30 minutes and then that will be the final for the bread to rise and then we'll put it in the oven so I'm going to have it sit rest for another 30 minutes we'll be back okay it's been 30 minutes I've been having my um, sweet rolls rise. Let me go ahead and remove the paper sealant. Okay, looks pretty good. I'm just going to put some egg wash on the rolls to get that golden brown look. I've preheated my oven. We're going to cook this for 20 minutes.
and we'll be back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and the sweet roll is done. I'm going to take it out of the oven. Take a look at that. Nice fluffy. I'll have it cool down for about 10 minutes. After I took it out of the oven, I brushed just a small amount of butter over it. Um, we'll go ahead and have it cool down for a bit. And we'll show you. the texture of the shrimp roll. This is the final results of my sweet roll. Okay, let's take a sample of it. See how nice and fluffy it is. Mmm. Nice and fluffy. Well, this is the result. Hope you enjoyed my videos. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.